intro. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs>
Hey everyone, welcome back. Dan Shields here. Uh, today we're going to be going through the song You've Already Won by Shane and Shane. Uh, we've been doing the song acoustically for a little bit, uh, but recently they've released a, uh, a fully produced version, which is really great for us. It's a great song, great words. Uh, our people seem to really love the song. But I wanted to go through today uh, the Guitar One parts. Now just a note, I'm going to combine some Guitar One and Guitar Two stuff. If you're playing along with multi-tracks, uh, this will be pretty exacting for the multi-tracks, but I do have some, you know, uh, E2 in there, and I put a couple of my own parts in there too. You don't have to do that, but uh, you'll see as we get to them. If, if you like doing something like that, you're totally welcome to. All right, so it's going to start off. There's a main hook that the guitar is going to play. Now I've got a pretty big sound here, so I got some heavy distortion. Uh, and I've got a big verb. And I've got some big delay on it. I did, actually didn't have my delay on for the, uh, for the recording of it, but now I do. So I'm going to start off in the C pentatonic. And I'm going to be in this extended form of it. So I'm going to start on the note E, so I'm going to do like this. Uh, first of all, it's in 6-8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. on that. Um, I try to put as much character in it as I can, so I've got a little bit of sliding going on, I've got some vibrato going on, but I don't want to overdo that. So if you guys, you know, if any of you come from a background where, you know, like a uh, blues or metal playing or something, you don't want to be like or something like that. It would sound really goofy. So you just want everything in CCM is more subtle, big sounds, but subtle movements on the guitar. So I'm picking lightly and I'm giving just a little bit of And I try to, as much as I can, like slide into notes instead of doing I think it just sounds like it gives it a lot more character. All right, now verse one, I'm almost completely out. I think I started doing some like little swells on the chords. Something like that. Then when we get into the second verse, I'm going to come, or the second, first chorus, excuse me, I'm going to combine uh, electric guitar two and one. One just has this little line on it, um, but electric two does this C, G, C, D, then the electric one part, and I give that a little bit more oomph, and then back to, back to C, um, E, over the A minor chord, over the G chord, that you uh, really have that in time you hear my delays or what I did is some little like um, they call them Austin auto parts you hear a lot of times keyboard players will just put on a uh, keyboard patch that has like a, um, a sequencer on it um, but I was just doing like this something like that and I I like to build those into parts so I might do like And 
And that's one of the main roles of a guitar player. You play some melodies, you play some power chords, but in general, uh, one of the biggest and most important things is getting these builds to really make the song explode and build in the right spots. All right, that takes us into the bridge section. Once we get into the bridge, let me think of what the bridge section does. Um, so there's two parts that I'm combining on this one as well. I'd probably recommend just doing electric guitar part one, which is this part. So E, G, D, C are my notes there. Um, but I like to play more stuff sometimes just because it's fun and it gets a little boring to not just sit there and do nothing. So on E, E2, it goes like this. So I just took that part and I added it in and did this. G note. Alright, and then the next bridge, I'm just doing like a 16th notes. Down to the C note. D. C, then I'm going to go up to the... Uh, Six, you're out, and that takes you back into the. Um, uh, does it take you back into the chorus, or do you do like? A, I think you do this like. So I'm doing like a C chord, and do a C4 or an F with a C bass. And then back into that main chorus part. So anyhow, I think that's all the parts for that, and hopefully that helps you out a little bit. And until next time, God bless.